Scientists can now reconstruct faces of people who died thousands of years ago, and the results are mind-blowing. Using DNA, CT scans, and forensic techniques, researchers are bringing ancient humans back to life with uncanny accuracy. King Tut's face has been revealed, showing his slightly longer than average skull and large brain volume. A Stone Age shaman woman was found buried on a throne of deer antlers, wearing a feather cape and a belt made of 130 animal teeth. One reconstruction shows a Neanderthal woman whose skull was crushed into hundreds of pieces 75,000 years ago. Despite this damage, scientists pieced her together, revealing her wide face, prominent brows and long dark hair. The Ice Maiden Juanita, a young Incan girl sacrificed 500 years ago, was found frozen on a mountain summit in Peru. Her reconstruction includes real human hair and authentic clothing. Even more fascinating is the face of a Bronze Age woman found wearing a silver crown, and a medieval man discovered in Poland who had two types of dwarfism. These reconstructions aren't just artistic guesses. They're based on precise measurements, DNA analysis, and forensic science. Researchers can determine eye color, hair texture, and even skin tone from ancient remains. The Hobbit, a tiny human relative who stood just over three feet tall, has been reconstructed from remains found in Indonesia, and the oldest modern human ever genetically sequenced, a woman who lived 45,000 years ago, shows us what our ancestors truly looked like. These faces from the past remind us that history isn't just about artefacts and monuments. It's about real people who once lived, breathed, and looked remarkably like us.